Uh, this is the Crazy Joe Show video chronicles here. And uh, Billy out there is uh, playing the video that I made last night about him. And, uh, you know, I said some stuff about uh, his group, Bearded Patriots, and all this crap, and this and that. Let me tell you something. Uh, I'm not concerned, or, or in other words, my thing is with Billy. I think I made it quite clear. Uh, Billy has been antagonizing me for three years now. And I'm sure if his bearded patriot boyfriends out there would realize that Billy is a problem, that Billy can get a lot of people in trouble, then I think they would disassociate with the man and they would have like nothing to do with him because Billy is a sick person, okay? He's a very sick individual. Now, I may say things about people in jest. I say them out of anger. Like Billy has his famous claim against me that I called him an end lover. Billy was threatening us for several weeks, made a video of his him. I mean, this thing looked like Jed Clampett. I, I swear to God. Uh, of a video of him, his sister, and the boyfriend. All threatening me with physical violence. Because I blocked Billy weeks earlier. Because I realized that this guy was a pathetic loser and a piece of shit. And I didn't want nothing to do with him. So when he came on Matt's show, Matt Connington's show from WMNH and started mouthing off about me, well, I had to defend myself and defend my honor because uh, what I do is an internet show. But Billy's jealous that I have a lot more talent than he does, that I have a lot more fans than he does. Not so much in YouTube because I'm not a YouTuber and I don't really care about YouTube, but that's not important. The thing is now, now he's trying to get the bearded patriots involved in his shit. And like I said, I mentioned them because Billy is bragging about the group. So if Billy is going to use a group to obtain his agenda, to terrorize people, or to harass me in any way, then I have to say I have to defend myself against all groups, foreign and domestic. Just like he likes to say on the video. I have to be ready. But like I said, if they knew what Billy has done to me, the harassment, the black, the black, uh, what they call a blackie account. I'm not sure what they call it. It's a fake account harassing people on my face crap. This is why I called the FBI. Because Billy is breaking federal law. By harassing me on the internet. By spreading rumors on the internet. By lying on the internet. By harassing people. My friends list. Threatening us. I mean, the list goes on and on and on what this guy has done over the last couple years. And it's all documented. Okay? He could delete whatever he wants. It's still in the system. He can't deny the threats that he's done. He can't deny the video he made with him, his sister, and the boyfriend threatening us with physical violence. You see... Billy is the one who's threatening us with physical violence. He's the I have witnesses. I have people that will testify in court that he has threatened us with physical violence, that he wanted to meet us in New York City. Those videos don't go away. So anyway, I'm going to listen to the rest of that stupid video, but. I want people to understand, even his own group, that Billy is bad news. 
And he will get everyone into problems and trouble. And who needs that, right? Because personally, I have nothing against his group. I don't care about his group. I don't care about anybody's group. I don't care about this group, that group, this group. Uh, you know, they fuck them all. I don't care. I care about the Crazy Joe show. But Billy, through his own manipulation, because he's a sick person, sure, I know what I said. But like when I called him that name before the end thing, nobody could blame me. I was intimidated, antagonized for weeks, for weeks and on end. He was talking shit about us to Matt on the show. He was making threats. He was doing this. He was harassing us, really mostly harassing us. So one day he knew what he was doing. He set us up on purpose. He had us deplatformed. Who does that shit? Only a sick individual, only a person with a sick mind does things like that. Nobody does stuff like that on the whim. Billy is obsessed with us. And that makes him a problem. He needs to be put away in jail or in the mental institution. Because all I've done was try to do a show and entertain people until Billy came into my life. Now it's a constant harassment, constant this, constant that. And he's doing it for what, 13, 1,400 miles away? That's why I said last night, I said, Billy, show up. Come to New York and come by yourself. Don't come with your bearded patriots. Don't come with your sister so she can hold your hand. Don't come with the boyfriend so he can hold your dick. Because I know you ain't going to come by yourself. Because you're that type of guy. You're a sneaky fuck. You're the type of guy, if you did it to deplatform me on 365, the sneaky way you did it, if I ever met you in person, I know you're not going to come alone. But come anyway. Come see me. Just you and I. Leave everybody else out of it. Give me your word. Which don't mean nothing to me anyway. <laughs> Billy, you're a fucking loser. And no matter how much you put out there, to try to blacklist me, it doesn't matter. I have my own station. I have my own team of technical people, including my good friend who's a black man for many years. And I'm proud to say he's a friend of mine. So do whatever you want, Billy. I just made a video last night saying, let's get it on. You and I, one-on-one. -on -one. But you know you're not going to do that because you're a coward. You're just going to go like this. Ga, 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 ga. Joe is this and Joe is that. By the way, I never got fired from Ascot. I quit because they are full of shit. They say that they're, that Jim, the owner, fought for freedom. What kind of freedom did he fight for? He fought against me. Because I believe in freedom of speech and freedom of expression. I believe in the old Howard Stern type of shows. I believe in George Carlin. I believe in Lenny Bruce. I believe in Richard Pryor. I believe in Chris Rock. I believe in all these guys who struggle to get their art out there. And we're living today in a woke movement that's anti-freedom. And my opinion was that Jim from Asgard Radio doesn't believe in freedom. Like he's a hypocrite. Because he would not allow me. And I asked him nice as a gentleman. Can I please use this type of material? And it wasn't racist. It was funny. It was funny. Believe me. I've lived in New York my whole life. Especially in New York City. There's no such thing as racism. There is. But in a city with a diverse population that we have. We have over 30, 40, 50 different languages from all people from all over the world. You never hear an incident about racism. You can't say that about Billy in Twin City Falls, Idaho. That's where all the militias are, right? That's where all the revolutionaries are, right? That's what Billy represents, right? We don't represent that. We just live our lives the best we can. We get along with everybody. Yeah, once in a while we got something to say about somebody. Big deal. Doesn't mean anything. So Billy's full of shit. 
Billy wish he was a New Yorker. Billy would wish because he's just an ignorant dumbass with a fourth grade education. He knows nothing about culture. He knows nothing about ethnic. He knows nothing about nothing. He's just a white boy. That's all Billy is. Just a dumbass white boy. Oh, keep it up, Billy. Everything's being documented. 